Exactly. Exactly. I'm certainly glad I'm not dating anymore. So am I, darling. <laughs> You're awfully quiet. What's the matter with you? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about uh, heading home. About that time, huh? Oh, that's a great idea. I'll go get Max and I want to go with you and get that baby face. Sean. Yeah. Did you get all this stuff? Listen, uh, I need your help. Buddy. Oh, just don't ask me to explain women to you because I can't, okay? Well, actually, I just need help about one of you. Rita, what about her? I want you and Anna to check up on her, see what she's been doing since my father died. I ask why? Just a hunch right now. Just leave it at that, okay? Yeah, sure. And one other thing. Don't tell Felicia or Bobby. Okay? Your toast is getting cold. You're so sexy in the morning. You know what? You better finish your breakfast. What's the rush? You may not have to go to work today, but I am going to work today. Your work is in the nursery. She's in there sleeping. You've got all the time in the world. You forgot? I'm going to the PI office today. Today? Why are you going today? Well, you knew I was going to go sooner or later. Well, yeah, I just assumed it would be later. Well, I'm afraid Sean and Anna think the same thing. They don't know you're coming in today? Oh, I thought I'd surprise them. Oh. Look, that's such a good idea. Well, why not? What about Max? I'll just take her to the office. Oh, that reminds me, I've got to find the perfect outfit to wear. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. You can't bring that child into the office all day. I mean... Why not? Well, what are you going to do with her, huh? File her under B for baby? Don't be silly. Sean and Anna would love having their godchild around. Yeah, is uh, Sean up yet? Really? He's already at work? Yeah, very impressive. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll try him there. Thanks, Tip. Sean and Anna like this. Oh, you think you just ought to stay home now? Hmm? No, what I mean is maybe I should give him a call before I go. Honey, what's it going to take to talk you out of this? No, I, no, I don't no. I'm going to go on with my original plan. I'm going to surprise him. Come on, everybody has their price. Sean just is name going it. Sean's going to be so happy to hmm? see on, me. He can never find anything in those files. I've been going Hunter, absolutely crazy. I'm sure that he's figured your system out by oh, now. Oh, no, sweetheart. you couldn't do that. I don't have a system. I just know where everything is. Fine. You win. Go. Go to work today, uh-huh, against my wishes. L at least let me drive you, though. Oh, no, no, I have to drive. I'm going to take Max for her first doctor's appointment. Everybody decent? Everybody but Max. She's yeah, our daughter's yet. naked. Come now, in. Can you do me a favor, please? Rita just called from the hospital, and there's a patient that's trying to check out, and I need to talk to him about it, and, and Bobby's not here to let a repairman in. You want to wait here? That's what I'm trying to say. If you could just listen for the doorbell. Oh, th Tony, no problem. Felicia would love to. Huh, babe? How can you say that? You're the one that doesn't have any plans today. Who says I didn't have any plans? All we've been talking about are your plans. You I have did. rehearsal last night. at the club. Don't you understand? The band is playing and I am singing solo. <laughs> it's not true. Those guys don't get up until noon. Well, maybe he got upset when I mentioned Rita. No, I don't think so. He doesn't hold a grudge anymore. Well, good, because contrary to his opinion, Rita is a very nice person. Whoop, there's a doorbell. You don't have to wait. Okay. mention Rita Lloyd's name around Felicia. I don't want anything reminding her of her. Understood. Nothing in writing either. You know she's got eyes like a hawk. Oh, I thought I'd call her up and ask her to make me up a pink file with the name Rita on it. I just want to make sure that Felicia doesn't know anything about it, that we nail it and nip it in the bud. It's going to be nailed. Don't worry about it. I thought you swore off. What? Keeping secrets from Felicia's, I recall they always backfired. Well, those were for selfish reasons and different secrets. Why different? I am just trying to protect the Brownstone. I'd like to keep the Jones clan away from Rita Lloyd, if anything. Uh-oh. Hi. Hello. Hi. What are you doing here? I was just leaving, as a matter of fact. 
Answer the question. No, 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 not a word until I get a look at my beautiful gotcha. <gasps> Hello, precious. You just you wanted to spoil my surprise, today. didn't you? Yes, you did. No. What surprise? Coming back to work. Why, that's great. When do you plan on starting? Now. Oh, Frisk, you, 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 you son of a gun. You didn't say a word to me well, about I, this. No, she... I missed you, honey. I'm Ask glad you're coming you. back. No, oh. I certainly am. You too, sweetheart. Good to see you. What are you doing here? I was snooping around. I just want to make sure everything is safe and sound for Max, that's all. I know, I was being overly protective again. I'm sorry. Are you sure that's all it was? Well, of course. Forgive me? There are far worse things to be than to be overly protective. Oh, I'm glad you see it that way. Mm -hmm. And this is the file cabinet. It's filled with papers that are alphabetized about people. You know, your ABCs, just like your father expects you to know within the next couple of weeks, down pat. See up here? That's the clock. Tells what time of the day it is. Most people can't live without one. And right through here in the big door is, oh, probably the most important invention to mankind. Oops. I mean, humankind, we don't want to leave out us little princesses, do we? This is the telephone. This is the way we humans communicate with one another. Well, at least one of the ways that we communicate with one another. Can you hear me? Are you listening to me? And over here, the newest form of communication, and it is called the computer, see? See, you put your little fingers on there and just go and away. You what, sweetheart? Your mommy is quite a whiz on that thing. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry. She got a little antsy, and I thought I'd just familiarize her with the office. Mm -hmm. Frisco says it's never too early to start teaching her. Oh, he's right, too. Uh, don't let me interrupt, though. All right. And this is the most important part of the office. This is the boss. And don't you ever forget that, either. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's really not as bad as it sounds. Come here, come here, Max. Come here, sweetheart. <gasps> Ooh, aren't you pretty? Are you enjoying your little tour, huh? I'm afraid I'm putting her to sleep. Oh, what kind of sorry. teacher am I? <laughs> You're the best teacher around, honey. <laughs> what? Okay. She's We're gonna so go back. Pretty. Go back and lie down. She's so pretty. You're so pretty, 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 pretty. Thanks for your patience, Sean. <laughs> Patient? Don't be silly. Well, you know, if uh, how can the boss ever be angry at you? I mean, it looks like you've done a mountain of work already. Oh, I'm just glad I can have her around here. I feel sorry for all those mothers that don't have daycare centers in their offices. Well, anyway, I just want to thank you for allowing me to have her here. You really love being a mother, don't you? No, I'm getting the hang of it. No, no, it comes naturally. Well, I'm just taking one day at a time. That's all I can do. But Frisco, he's... he's you know, sweetheart, if I'm ever going to catch up with you, I'd better get to work. And look, if, if Max ever gets restless again, you just... Uh, Turn her over to her godfather. Huh? You're on. Right. Bye. <laughs> There. You were terrific. Well, thank you. Hey, if you ever need a dancer to back up your ass. Well, I'll keep you in mind. Thanks a lot. <laughs> well, anyways, thanks a lot for letting us use the stage. No problem. You didn't butt into my rehearsal time at all. Well, I have to get dressed now. So see you later. All right. Bye. Take care, sweetie. Frisco. Hey, hey. God, I'm glad you're here. I, I wanted to talk to you about that video thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm already way ahead of you. I got, I got some images going on for the for the images that I want to use on it. Really? Tell me about it. What, what about well, it? I, I want to go just 21st century on it all the way. I can understand that. Uh, yeah. That's pretty expensive, whatever that is. Oh, just a little video talk here. Yeah, and don't you worry about the money. I'll come up with it somehow. I always do. Great. Oh, Anna, mm -hmm. thank you for the information you gave me a while ago, the, all the stuff. It really helped me out a lot. Don't trust him as far as your video is concerned. I happen to know that he's broke. Yeah. 
Have you done any investigations? Collect from San Francisco? Uh, yeah, Mr. Donnelly's here, but, um... You know, he's a little tied up at the moment. I'll take the call, operator. Yes. Hello, this is Mr. Donnelly's secretary. Is there something I can do? Yeah, well, could you give me the name of the person that he's inquiring about? Oh, uh, excuse me, honey. Uh, yes, this is, uh, Sean Donnelly. Would you hold on a moment, please? Honey, I think, uh, Max needs you. Why do I get the feeling that you and Frisco are in cahoots? What are you talking about? This calls from San Francisco. Would this have anything to do with Rita Lloyd? Of course not. Of course it does. I mean, Frisco said he put all that stuff behind him. Honest? Absolutely. Now, will you please go into my godchild? I, I think she, her, it's her diaper. I, you know? Okay, okay. Godfather. Yeah, this is Donnelly. Oh, thanks for holding. Now, what have you got on, uh, Rita Lloyd? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Uh, give me those, uh, names and amounts, please. Dawn promised to look in on Mr. Bridges from time to time. Well, that's very neighborly of her. I want to thank you for what you did for him. Just call me a fan. You're a fan. What, of Mr. Bridges? 